Hi students, welcome to the Strategic Business Leader December 2023. Now this examination is for 3 hours and 15 minutes if I'm not mistaken. And the pre-seen material is also given. So our video will be effectively focusing on the current materials of 3 hours and 15 minutes examination. Now students, if you observe, the basics that you have to understand is very crucial. Now, the basics are, example students, if you observe, this paper is completely different from other exam papers. For instance, if you have done all the nine papers of ACCA in the fundamental levels, still, if you observe, the SBL examination is very different from the other papers from the P level as well. Now, students, this is very simple examination to pass. I'll just give you the foundation understanding that you have to have. Even if you do not have enough time, even if you are a working professional, working from morning 9 to 5, you can still pass this examination. The rationale behind this is, in the exam paper, they will give you something called exhibits. They will give you something called exhibits. In simple language, exhibits are data. Okay, exhibits are data. And then students, there will be questions. So your answer should effectively focus on the exhibit and you should process the exhibit data into a futuristic manner and give the answer. So students, let's assume a person who has not studied still can pass the HPL examination because I told you the role of you in this paper, you are a data scientist in simple language that means the data is the exhibit and students you are effectively giving your suggestions to the examiner that will be a board of directors or someone in the target sector so you are doing the data scientist so students just remember the golden rules that whatever happens you should not memorize this you should not go with pre-prepared knowledge and also students the pre-seen material for example, is one thing that students need to consider. It's nothing directly from the pre-seen material. Students, the biggest mistake students did last time, specifically for the COJET exams, y'all were directly writing from the pre-seen material point of view. And technically speaking, students, you have to avoid that. Please avoid that because the examination requires only three skills in order to pass this. And students, the first skill is very, very, very important. The skill number one is presence of mind. Presence of mind. Students understand this term, presence of mind. That means students, how much you're mentally having that stability to concentrate on the exam. You should have a hyper focus, presence of mind. And students, the presence of mind should be different from other exams. Now, if you go for any other examination, the technical factors are you read the question, you recall it. What did you study? But in this, you read the exhibit, but please don't recall anything from the classroom or what you studied previously. You have to reflect. Suppose if I am in this position, what I can do? That is very, 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 very crucial students read and reflect. And coming to the third skill, while you are reading, you have to have an analytical review. Students understand it very well. It is analytical review while reading. Don't read it in a rush. Take your own time. Understand the questions properly. Analyze it very, very well and give an analytical review. And whenever you are doing any questions in P levels, your skills that is expected is you have to be skeptical students. You have to ask questions. You have to challenge the data. Ask question. Think, think whether it is relevant. Think whether it is reliable. Ask questions on reliability, on relevance and other factors which is not given students because this is very, very important skill that you have to master because if you observe due to the development of technologies like ChatGPT, the only skill that is surviving for the accountant today is the skeptical skill because the systems are giving you data still yet we don't have technical technological knowledge on skeptical skills so students this is the basic introduction of sbl examination 
remember the golden rule exhibit question even if you have not studied anything even if you are not so strong with the precin don't worry in the examination exhibit and question that's more than enough and you have to develop your points from the exhibit and explain it properly so i will come to the next video where i will be explaining about the paper structure so thank you very much students this is the basic introduction of what you have to do for the sbl examination if you are a working professional thank you students